All right, we're back. We're on page 176. We're talking about hyperbolas and we're doing some like kind of weird problems where we're given enough information, but maybe initially it doesn't feel like that and you have to like dig into it a little bit. So for this problem, uh, we want the equation of a hyperbola with asymptotes. As soon as you're told it's a conic with asymptotes, you're pretty much like, yeah, it's a hyperbola. But uh, the asymptotes here, so this is really nice because it's given in point slope form. Um, if, if you were given each individual asymptote, you'd have to solve a system of equations to find where those intersect because the intersection point is gonna be the center. So this information right here is telling me, uh, like it, it's potentially telling me two things, but it is definitively telling me that the center is gonna be negative three comma negative one, right? So we know that the center is negative three, negative one. Now, what we don't know without more information is I know that this is either A over B or B over A, but it depends on which way this thing opens, right? So if, for example, if we have this, you know, then like uh, this would be A, and so this would be B. So if it's opening that way, if, it's, if X comes first, right, if the vertices are on a horizontal line, it's eating the X axis, then it's gonna be B over A. If it goes the other way, these are like really bad drawings, then this is gonna be A, and then this will be B. So if it's eating the Y axis, then you go up A over B, so then it'd be A over B. So we need to know more information, but we do know the center, so keep that in mind. Center for sure is this, intersection of the asymptotes, always gonna be the center. So now I know the center is negative three, negative one, and I know Let's do our, our potential conjugate transverse and conjugate axes. I should say transverse first. Remember, transverse is sort of like the major axis. It goes between the vertices. Conjugate is sort of like the minor axis, but you can't call them major or minor because that sort of implies you know, a relationship between their lengths, and it doesn't need to exist for a hyperbola. So uh, that's kind of review. So negative three, negative one is where these intersect. And then I'm told in this problem, negative seven, negative one is one of the vertices. So here, which means this is A, which means this would be B, which means if that's the vertex, then first of all, it's eating, you know, it's ugh, gross. Uh, so what is A? A is four. So this would be uh, one negative one, kind of like, ew. Yeah, I mean, it's not pretty. Um, okay, so what do we know? We know that uh, say, since horizontal, seven over five is B over A. If it was vertical, it would be A over B. And I bet the next one is gonna do that. But uh, let's see if we can do this. So we know that seven over five is B over A. We also know from our picture that A is equal to four. And so B over four is seven over five. So B is 28 over five. Uh, and the squaring fun continues. So, oh no, wait, do I need to? I can do the lame thing. Uh, well, let's, did I square 28 before? I don't think so. Let's do 30 minus two squared. So that's gonna be 900 minus 60 plus four. So that's 844. 844? I don't know. Multiply them together times two. What are you doing? I think we should all just submit videos of us messing up. Uh, to make me feel better. 800, 780, Wait, is that exactly the number that I got before? Nope, 576, weird false memory. All right, so, uh, all right, what are we doing? We got, we know it's horizontal because of this. So we know X comes first. We know the center somewhere is a uh, negative three, negative one. So it's gonna be, x plus three squared minus quantity y plus one squared. Both of those are gonna be over something and it's gonna equal one. 
A always goes first, A is four, so this is 16. Uh, and then B, I think is 784 over 25. And uh, we can check it. So let's, let's go to the calculator. I'm gonna check this, um, how am I gonna check this? I'm gonna check this by adding a graph page. I'm gonna change it to a conic. So menu three, three, uh, hyperbola. And then I think that this is an east-west according to what they call it. And it's gonna be negative three, four, because it's gonna square it. Negative one, and then uh, 28 over five. All right, so what can we check? Uh, I mean, you can't really check the center. Well, you can check the center, but like the center has to be what we used. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm gonna find the asymptotes, which I think is an option. Uh, asymptotes, here we go. The problem is it's not going to give me those in, um, in what form is it not gonna give me those? Uh, it's not gonna give them in point slope form. And so if you really wanted to, you'd have to like solve this and that would be annoying. So, uh, or you can just look and be like, well, if I distribute seven fifths, I get 21 over five. And then if I subtract five from that, I get negative 26. If I, if I distribute negative seven fifths, I get negative 21. And then I subtract, I get negative. Yeah, I, I think it's right. I don't know. 21 minus five is 16, uh, negative 21 minus five is negative 26. I'm pretty sure it's right. Okay, so uh, let's go back. I mean, I was like pretty sure it was right anyway, so I was just checking to show you that you can check. Let's try this one. It's gonna be the same idea. So I'm gonna draw my uh, potential transverse and conjugate axes just to make life easier for like plotting our points and stuff. Um, the center has to be the intersection of those, so it's gotta be negative three, negative one. Uh, a vertex at negative three, four, so that's a vertex. So I know that this thing is like, kind of like that. I mean, I know it's definitely not like that. I do from this know that A is equal to five because that's, the, that's a bad five. Okay, better five. So A is equal to five. And then uh, that means that our asymptotes, right? So B is going in this direction. So our asymptote, the slope is gonna be up A over B. So A over B is gonna be seven over five. So five over B is seven over five. So B, I think it's 25 over seven. So we know A, we know B, we're basically done, right? So vertical, which means that Y goes first. And then don't mess up the HK thing, right? Y always goes with K. Um, and X always goes with H. Uh, A is five, so this will be 25. B is 25, seven, so this will be six, 25. Finally, numbers I want to square over 49. Uh, that we can sort of check it. So let's let's see here. So uh, uh, you know what we could try? Let's try to check it a slightly different way. Let's try to check it by. Is this gonna work? I'm gonna solve quantity y plus one squared over 25 minus quantity x plus three squared over 625 over 49 equals zero for y. Um, so this is, I'm gonna find the asymptotes. So I get and expand them and I get, what? Oh, I see, ish. Uh, you know what, expanding is a waste of time. I thought I was gonna like break it up, but it, it apparently expand doesn't work on multiple things. Let me just show you, expand, uh, just expand this. And it'll like expand it. Um, and if I expand just this, it will, you don't really need to lie, but it'll expand that. Then if we go back, well, these are, these are definitely the asymptotes that um, 
we were given in the previous part when we did it. So I think we got this right. So I'm gonna call that a success. Uh, let's go back to the notes. We're basically done with the page. The rest of this just kind of explains to you, we've done it multiple times if you've been playing along on your calculator. Uh, you can use your calculator to find these. I actually think, oh no. I was gonna say, I think that they'd updated it and that it was like a little different now, but it's, it's not. So we can graph conics, you know, it's menu, you go to three, then, oh, this should be three. I don't know what they added. What did they add? This is now three. Anyway, you go to equation and then you pick the conic that you want. Uh, this one is the like general, the very general form. Uh, hyperbola, ellipse, they, they give you the templates, you fill them in. And then uh, you can analyze the graph also if you go to analyze conic, choose whatever you want. It's really helpful. Um, it's, it's really, it's great because you can just like see what you're doing. Now, another thing that I would kind of recommend uh, is, let me see, I'm gonna share, share a Chrome thing with you. And uh, if you go to Wolfram Alpha, Wolfram Alpha. So if you go to Wolfram Alpha, mm, 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 except in close, type in a conic, right? So I'm gonna type in uh, y plus one squared over 25 minus quantity x plus three squared over quantity 625 over 49 equals one. Okay, and I'm gonna hit enter. And let's see what it does. So it tells you it's a hyperbola. It graphs it. It gives you alternate forms. Uh, integer solutions, which are actually like really hard to find. Um, and then I think, uh, does it not tell you anymore? It used to tell you like things about it. Uh, let me see if I can get it to tell me things. Uh, vertices. Who knows? I mean, it's a computational knowledge engine. Um, hyperbola. Do, do, do. Oh, I guess not. What the heck? It used to, I, I think, I mean, I could be wrong. I think it used to tell you like the vertices, co-vertices, the asymptotes. But apparently not the case anymore. Asymptotes. Oh, look at this, asymptotes. So, what the heck, vertex maybe? I feel like I should be able to get these. Uh, vertex, hey, there we go. Uh, all information, I don't know, attributes maybe? It's like you gotta like figure out how to get it to tell you the things that it knows. I want more info. Nah, I can't, can't get it to give me all of it. Can I get it to give me uh, foci? Probably. This will be the last one that I do, just to results, foci. So it can, ah, it knows them, but it's not like summarizing it. I don't know, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna pretend that I'm gonna like look into that and then get back to you, but I'm actually not going to. But anyway, uh, we're done with this page of notes, I believe. And I will be back in the next one to do, uh, I think we're moving on. I think we're, we're moving on to the parabola, a new conic. It's the last of the conics and that's pretty exciting. So uh, I'm gonna stop this video here and I will see you in the next one.